Okay, this is a supplemental movie tutorial uh, three for the Nature Protocol X-ray structure determination using low resolution EM maps for molecular replacement. And in this tutorial, tutorial we're going to uh, try to find NCS related density in a phaser solution that was determined using a cryo EM map into um, high resolution X-ray data. And that's, that's what I'm showing right here. Uh, this is a phaser solution that we uh, determined in tutorial two. So uh, this is actually a pretty simple setup uh, to uh, set up the find NCS uh, tool in uh, Phoenix. So uh, what you need to do is go to the model tools and here under model tools find NCS operators. Uh, leave the input file type as automatic. Don't put anything in the PDB file, but here in the map coefficients field, we're going to uh, place the new MTZ file that we um, that we just made. So we need to navigate to that. And so you can uh, navigate to the phaser folder, which has uh, a new MTZ file that was solved by phaser. Or you can also just place the um, supplemental file that uh, we gave you with the protocol, which is supp supplemental file 7. I'm actually going to use uh, the output of phaser that we just did. Uh, here, make sure the output directory is where you would like it to be. Job title, um, I'm going to call this find NCS density in 8 angstrom phaser solution. Uh, the high resolution limit for the map is going to be 8. Uh, we don't need to change any NCS finding parameters, but center finding parameters we do want to change. Smoothing radius uh, we recommend 10, and then the number of centers to try, this needs to be greater than 1. This is how many um, molecular centers uh, this uh, tool will will look at and so we want it to be more than one uh, we re recommend 20 so this will this will guess 20 molecular centers and then it will search each of those for NCS related density in our um, MR solution the density search parameters these can be modified a lot uh, depending on what you want to do uh, the density radius, uh, that makes sense. It's a, that's the radius of the sphere that it's going to make to, to look for NCS-related density. Uh, 20, a radius of 20 works uh, fine. Um, it's recommended that the peak separation be 1.5 times the density radius. So we'll make this 30. And then the phi, um, this this phi angle is is the rotation that this search sphere will will undergo, and um, if this number if the density radius increases, we recommend uh, lowering the uh, phi angle here. And obviously, if you don't believe that you need to, you know, if you want to speed things up, you can always lower. Uh, these numbers increase uh, the phi number. Okay, we've got all the parameters ready to go. We want to hit the run button um, to get things started. Uh, because it's searching uh, 20 centers and it's looking at different phi angles for each of those centers, it's going to take uh, at least 40 minutes to to run, um, but it may take even a little longer than that, maybe even up to upwards of an hour. Uh, to find the density. Okay, to save time, I'm I'm not going to wait till this finishes. But what will happen is that um, there will be a right next to this run status uh, tab. There will be a results tab, and in it will be a dot ncs spec file that will include um, matrices of ncs related um, centers. So what that looks like, we've um, given you that. A file like that as a supplemental file, uh, supplemental file 8. I'm just going to drop it here into my text editor and to show you what that looks like. So 
This is a NCS group that has a correlation coefficient of 0.44 between all the centers. And if you count them up, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 centers. And so this is, um, this is good. Uh, so this is what we're going to use uh, in um, the, uh, as we do phase extension, we're going to use this, uh, this NCS file.